Hey guys, this is Crazy Nerd. So three one, and today I'll be showing you how to make a paper crossbow, which looks like this. And yes, I did another color, and wait, and it shoots rubber bands, rubber bands, and how it shoots is you grab one big rubber band, stretch it out, right? And what you what are you gonna do is grab the rubber band and put it right there like that. Then put it between this whole thing. Right there. You put it between right there. And then you go like that and it pops out. So what you practically do is hold by here and let go of this trigger like this. So as you can see it went all the way over here. I found my other rubber band, but this is the one we shot, and it went all the way over there. As you can see, it went further, but it bounced off the wall. So, uh, what you're going to need to make the paper crossbow, you're going to need uh, tape, scissors, rubber bands, and um, um, cutter paper, or you could use printer sheeted paper. Now, uh, once you got all those requirements, you're ready to go. So what you could just now do is grab your printer sheet of paper or colored paper and what you want to do is wait let me adjust the camera I mean laptop okay so you want to have a long ways and what you want to do now is go like that right I usually do that to make the rolling easier so you go like that fold the paper I mean keep on rolling the paper right then once you got the rolled the roll you could just tape it up three point size and what I mean by that is just fold all three sides um front I mean like front middle and then end so you should have a tube like this so you want to do another uh, you want to do another tube should I have done something like that something like this like the like the other tube and then you should you should have just taped it up taped it just tape it right there right there so you have made now two tubes and they should be now the same size and what those two are is one of the tubes is going to be that line, that big line, and the other tube is going to be this line going across right there. And so what we're going to do right now is this little trigger. So you want to grab um, now another piece of paper, and you want to put the other tube aside, and what you want to now do is have a long way long way and do the same thing start rolling line it up tape it up So now you should have this, a smaller tube like that. So you want to now do is grab your scissors and you want to cut it like about that much, right? About that much. So 
you should have a piece like this. So um, now you should have um, this. I mean, not this. You should have now two tubes over here. This one and this one. I'm just going to open this because I just ran out of tape right now. Wait, let me just open this right here. I remember one of the other videos that I told you the tape and it's that big, the roll. As you can see, it's that big. And um, let me just put it here. And you could just fast, you could just fast forward it. If you want to see it? Okay, there. All finished. Okay, so what you want to do now is um, you, you want to see right. So if you have one or two, and that stuff is sticking out, if you want, you just tape it. Do the same with all the tubes if you have it. If you don't have it, you could just go there and fast forward it if you want. Okay, so now I'm ready. So, what you now want to do is grab the two big ones. Grab the two big ones and just put one. Like, just put one and put it like right there. Put it like right there so it, it, it could look like a cross but this one will be a little bit more up so we could just now do is just tape it and just tape it Uh, you could just turn it over to make it a yeah. So you should have now a really small, small strong tube, tube, tubes like this. So you want to do it now with the last two is you could just like bent it like that, like that. So you want to grab the smaller side and put it like right there in the edge. You can just tape it. So it should be something like that. I'm not doing anything. I'm just doing that. Okay, so you have been you have you are done making your paper crossbow which has which looks something like that. So what you want to what you want to do now is just grab your rubber band, stretch it out if you want to do it. You don't have to, but I usually do it. Like I told you, grab the rubber band, put it between right there, and put it right there, between it, between it right there, and shoots. Right there, there it go, and it shoots. So, thank you for watching my video, how to make the paper crossbow that shoots with the rubber band, and please comment, rate, subscribe, like, rate and I'll do all the stuff comment in the comment section down there down there thumbs up with the thumbs up and thank you for watching and bye